In Gwinnett County this noon, where an elderly woman died in a house fire. CBS 46's Sabrina Silva joins us live from the scene in Duluth. And Sabrina, we understand that there were two people who were able to get out of that home safely. How, did, how are they doing this noon? Yeah, well, they're doing OK. The one person who was injured was actually taken care of right here on the scene and she will be all right. But take a look at this. This fire ripped through this entire home, not only destroying the first floor, but also the second floor. And there are crews out here trying to salvage what they can from the scene. And it's been hours. and You can still smell the smoke out here. Now, we did get a chance to talk to some neighbors who say they did not expect to see this so close to home. A house on Whitney Park Drive oh, bursting you. into flames, taking the life of an elderly woman who was trapped inside her bedroom with nowhere to escape. Well, I'm told that she was uh, bedridden. This afternoon, firefighters still investigating what caused the flames to transpire on the covered back porch of the home. Luckily, two people were able to escape, an older man and a caretaker. I've never seen anything like this in... <laughs> In person before so it was it was just shocking heartbreaking Lindsay Greer who lives across the street was awoken at 1 in the morning by all of the commotion we have so many tall trees around here that it would catch a tree and travel Greer says she knew them like most people know their neighbors but hadn't seen them since COVID but anytime we did interact with them they were just good people and now is hoping to take something away from this devastating situation so the same doesn't happen to her and her family. I don't know how it started, um, but I'm hoping we can at least learn from just this tragic, tragic um, events. I'm taking you back live here. Gwinnett County firefighters tell us that they have reasons to believe that this fire was accidental. Reporting live in Duluth, I'm Sabrina Silva, CBS 46 News. Sabrina, thank you.